It's close to home. It's an hour and a half from the house. Short track. That's what I grew up racing. Um, the event and the show and just um, you know everything that they have going on there. It's uh, it's great for the fans. It's great for sponsors and um, you know it's just a uh, it's an awesome deal and we just uh, have a lot of fun there. And like I said, it's a it's a cool show and it's it's good for our fans and and they love it so. I asked uh, Ricky Thornton Jr. about where he puts that race on on the funnel meter for him throughout the year. So where does it rank for you? You know, this race and stuff, we couldn't do it without the fans. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about for me is going there and, and uh, you know, putting on a show for them. And, you know, we we ran really good there a lot of times. We just haven't been able to get that win that we've been looking for there. So hopefully this year we can get it done. Um, you know, that would definitely... Um, hype me up a little bit more about going back again you know it's there's just so much uh, risk there that you take getting your stuff tore up and luckily it's such a small track it's usually just body stuff and um, you know it's like I said it's the elbows up uh, small racetrack so anything can happen and and uh, we just like I said look forward to putting on a show for the fans seems like it's one of the most chaotic races of the year is it as chaotic behind the wheel as it appears from the from the grandstands Oh, it definitely is. Uh, you know, it's so tight quarters out there that, um, like I said, anything can happen, and, and it usually gets really rough. You know, it's hard to do anything about that with the, you know, just as little as time to prep the track as they have and to, to pack everything in tight, and it's all laying in there on top of concrete. So there's not much they can do about it getting rough. Um, but I think that adds to some of the excitement. I don't think the racing uh, would be as good if it wasn't rough like that. So. What is it like hearing that crowd get as loud as they do inside of there? Uh, it's it's insane, honestly. You know, it's obviously it's different than anything we have, and that's another thing that lures me to it is it being different. You know, in that aspect, there's not um, you know you, stuff like that. You never know how long it's going to be around, and uh, we've been very fortunate to have it around for quite a while now, and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. So, um, you know, it's just. Uh, Everybody's so packed in there tight, and there's a huge fan base that comes there, and um, it really makes the excitement level um, a lot more. Especially when you, you know, you get interviewed and you take your helmet off, and the fans are going crazy, and or you do something crazy and get out, and the fans are going nuts. So it's uh, or Scott Bloomquist crotch chopping and driver intros too, right? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Driver intros are always very uh, exciting just to see the fans' reaction to everybody, and so it's cool.